All right, uh, part two of the uh, duck slash chicken coop door, this time with a functional prototype here. So um, for those of you that didn't check out part one, that was just a basic layout and proof of concept. This is actually somewhat functional and we'll probably go in the duck house uh, tomorrow. So what we have is a Raspberry Pi hooked up to a motor controller uh, and then a little buck converter all getting 12 volt power from this little uh, LED 12 volt power supply that I got in the free in, uh, mail from Amazon. Um, that was all hooked up to a 12 volt high torque motor, which has got a little 3D printed coupler to the lead screw or the threaded rod. And then on the threaded rod are these little nut riders. So they're a little housing that the door hangs from here. And on this side, you can see the same thing. There's the, the 3D printed uh, housing around the nut. And then, so these guys are just little roller bearings. So two 608 style bearings that the uh, thing can just rotate freely on. And then there's another one of those right here. But this guy has these limit switches. And these limit switches are what control when we hit far enough in and out. So I've got my laptop here just for a live demo. So right now it's closed. We would need to open it. So if I go ahead and execute that script, my threaded rod gets turned, my door hanging moves over to the open position, and then click, that cuts off our motor feed. And then so if we want to go back the other way, it's just a matter of close Python. So now our motor, thanks to our motor controller, turns the other way. Our slides are riding the other direction. The door is closing. And when it gets in here, click, turns it right off. So that is the automatic door opener closer. Let me know if somebody's interested. I'd be happy to post the, uh, the Python code that's running on the Raspberry Pi there. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, going to go in my actual duck house tomorrow, and we'll put a cron job for open and close times, and uh, should be pretty cool.